When it launched, the onset revolutionised the industry's conception of what inkjet could do for their business. In the existing range, the S70 sits at the higher end, with full automation, and the S20 at the more accessible end of the market. This left a gap between the two, so Inca have launched the Onset S40, which sits between the two existing machines, giving customers the flexibility of where they engage in the market. Colourcraft in the UK are the first company to take delivery of the Onset S40, and here's what they think. Colourcraft's one of UK's leading POS producers, uh, specialising in POS for the high street um, and some out-of-town retailers specialise in particular in fashion retailers, high quality graphics. I mean, it's, be, it's been great to, to be able to go into the clients and sell any substrate up to 50 mil thick. I mean, that's a fantastic development for us. I mean, we worked really closely with our customers, so before we purchased the machine, obviously we were talking to them about the next route to deliver savings or speed to market for them. So they've all embraced it because the S40 allows us to deliver that service without compromising quality. I think historically you would have to say to a client, uh, we can do this cheaper or faster, however you have to take this quality. Whereas now it stands by the side of large format litho and the client's happy to take that and we shorten the speed to market. We always work very close with our clients uh, from procurement and from marketing to deliver, to deliver their objectives. And most of their objectives are around quality, speed to market and price. So there, are, there is cheap print out there, however, it's not about cheap print, it's about delivering savings from the full supply chain and the S40 enables us to do that for them. We decided that um, over the last 6 to 12 months that uh, we kind of had a hole in the manufacturing process. We've got large format litho, we've got screen print, we've got short run digital, but we decided that we really wanted a digital machine that would give us um, production capability, become almost a workhorse. We can uh, not only print small amounts of regionalised store specific graphics but we can also produce larger run quantities. We can take work from the KBA which would previously have been printed on plastics um, and put them through on the Inca and produce cost savings and get the, the jobs out to market quicker for the clients also. The aim is in the not too distant future that hopefully clients could almost produce a file, drop it into the workflow and almost print the job without any human intervention. The automation on the onset made it quite key for us because although you can manually feed sheets, the automation obviously takes the work off so it can, it can handle store specific regional graphics manually fed but if we want to up the quantity and do an all-star run then the uh, automatic takeoff adds to that facility. Very quickly um, early into the beta test we went on to three shifts and um, it could be only a matter of time before it could go on to continentals really because it's churning out that amount of work that we just see that it's one of the future machines of the business almost within a week of the installation for the beta um, it was up and running and we were dropping files on and we were creating different profiles for different customers and colour proofing um, extremely easily plug and play. It's been absolutely fabulous we found that um, within a matter of uh, minutes we can get colours out, uh, Pantone colours especially that um, we've previously struggled with on digital machines because the gamut is so large that um, client press passes have become much easier than they were on previous machines. So it's given us the extra capability in terms of size that we didn't have before. Previously we were at two and a half metres and now we're up to three metres so we can do single graphics at three metre size or we can do 360-40s side by side. Recently we did a campaign and it would have been something like 120 plates on the KBA and we managed to get it through in, in a couple of days on the onset and it, it saved obviously all the pre-press was gone and it was just a case of re-rendering the files onto the machine extremely efficiently. Mm -hmm.